Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. All right, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. Please. Keen to find him. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Someone there? Tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, it nearly ate me. And where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. Okay. Yeah. And, uh... I got 
the scab! It's over here! <sighs> Stop! Come. Good man. All right. Let's get back to the dock. Yes, please. Let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought it was going to be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. None. Now what? I think we hit a tree stone. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're going to need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> You'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. I think your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. Ah! 
There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the blade. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Pull every bullet you got in him! Okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. <laughs> Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Uh, thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Uh, can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm going to head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Brunty. He's a bad man. I don't know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got muscles, I think. <sighs> well. I ain't forgotten you.
Is someone there? Anything to spare for a blind man? There you go, oh, friend. Oh, bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. Hello. Welcome. Let's have a look here. I could definitely see you in one of those sets. So, what do you think? Wearing it out? That is one of my favorites. And don't be fooled by their appearance. Those pants are as sturdy as they are handsome. Those will last you a lifetime. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. Got what I need. Everything you need and more in there. What color speaks to you? Isn't it time to end this nonsense and let us go? Once and for all. I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. You look as long as you like. Farewell. Buenos días, señor.
Buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? Hello. Sure. What you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? For me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you... No one has to buy me a drink. I will go. You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry to me. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. You want the book? Something else? Right here. Oh, Taizu! Excuse you! So, yeah. Excuse yourself. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. I'll do. Put a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please. They made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Ah, quién es? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Now, don't worry. I'm on your side. Hmm. Those are the 
Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. I'm... Much farther. Poor bastards. ¿Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres y eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. Some vendors have been lying about where their meat comes from. Seems like a bad idea to me. Hey, yeah. Glad to see you again, sir. Town over seems rampant with bandits lately. Brother, Brother Dorkin's friend, Arthur, Arthur Morgan. Come on, you were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You no, know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Well, listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> Hundreds of gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes.
you must know you look bizarre in that. One moment, please. Hey. This is extremely delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Let's go, girl. Thank you. 
It's all right, girl. Yeah. Go easy, girl.
places? Mind you stay. Sorry, mister. My mistake. It's a national disgrace. Oh, you bastard! The man just robbed you. I saw it. Get out of just here. I believe. What's your problem? I didn't do nothing. Stop now, damn you. Until I die if I have to. You're about to get a hole in your head. Money or your life. You choose. All right. Them. All right, damn it, you got me. It won't happen again, okay? You know, it's terribly important. What is? Voting? Yes, terribly. Once women get the vote, the whole country will stop making such a pig's ear of everything. There'll be no more wars, no hunger, no stupidity. We'll elect a woman president within the first ten years, of course. You see, men are such judgmental prigs. You need us women to help straighten you out. Okay? With us helping, I'm not saying there won't be trouble. I just think we'll do a better job of things. Well, I hope you're right. Good luck. Look if out! It takes until the rest of the 20th century, I will stand here and shout. Women need the right to vote, and they need everywhere that men have it. What we currently support now, let me have a look.
I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. Now, what is your preferred color for this? That is a local favorite. All right then, but if there was anything in there that caught your eye... Thanks, partner. Come on, people! Let me vote! It's a oh, I'm sorry. Come on. There, girl. Try again. Please. Please. It is... Um... Hello, sir. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! These kids that'll work! Don't hurt him, please! Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it. Hey, you! Get your hands off of that boy right now. You stole my watch. Right now. Before I smash your head in that wall. All right, all right. Forget it. Little shit ain't worth it. Thanks, mister. You got lucky this time, kid. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? You? This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. How? Now. I mean, I, hey, Help! Uh, Help! Hold on! This man is bothering me! Now. Someone help me! Officer, help!
Hey, folks. Hi, mister. Nice people around here. Out of my way. Anyway, didn't mean to disturb you, folks. Reckon you still have manure on your boots, you hick. Younger, those challenges used to. Mr. Morgan! Hey, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! No, oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy. He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins found him. Sorry, mister. I think you got me mixed up with someone. No, no. I never forget a face. Never. Enjoy spending your blood money. Whatever you heard, it wasn't me. Honest. Welcome to Horner and Co. Got my candies in the middle there, tobacco in the corner, food and sundries to the sides, and the booze is up by the counter. 
You want the full range? Just have a look through the catalog. A lot more in there than what you see on the shelves. Appreciate it. All right. Good, good. You got it. Good, good. All yours. You got it. Well then. Okay then. Sir, come in and have a browse. Take a look at our catalog. Let me know if you want to get a feel for any of them. Now, let's have a look. Can I help you find something? I can see you look after your firearm. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can see you look after your firearm. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't.
You need any help? I can see you look after your fireball. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. man got shot right there on Courtney Street. Around here, you carry a gun. I can see you look after your firearm. We also offer an engraving service in case you are interested. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can see you look after your firearm. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. I can see you look after your firearm. I've got some better stocks that would fit that gun. Can add to stability. That'll give you a real edge. You'll notice the quality of the workmanship. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. Maybe I should have chosen a smaller store in Chinatown. Something cheaper. But I'm sure things will turn around.
I hope to still bring more people to Chinatown, but I am still waiting. If the Italians keep taking from me, I don't know how much longer I will be able to stay open. I can see you look after your firearm. Did you know a rifle barrel adds noticeable accuracy? We can do that to this model for a great price. You will feel the difference right away. You got no regrets with that decision. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can see you look after your firearm. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. That'll give you a real edge. I can see you look after your firearm. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. Come on, please. Time to go. Yep. Give a damn. Excuse me, partner. Good morning, mister.
Excuse me. What are you trying to do? So, Dutch, what's Tahiti like, anyhow? I have no idea, but I hear it's paradise. Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter. In the cavalry, weren't you? What? 
When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. <clears throat> well, love, leaving love aside, <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick, stay quiet. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur! Let's go! Let's go! You see those two? Stay out of sight. Got a shot on him? Something creepy about these statues. <laughs> you don't like making women. You taking them or me?
Shoot that lock, Arthur. Good. Now kick that damn door in. We got more inside. Shoot him. Name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Huh? I think Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Bronte. him in front. Bill, you help. You got him? Oh, come on, Lenny. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? You're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. 
I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth has got to be disposed of. Our friends of Pinkerton's are going to come and rescue you, you <laughs> repulsive little maggot. <laughs> 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 Call them now! You call them! Jesus! Part of your philosophy books cover feeding the fellow, the goddamn alligator, Dutch! The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. I don't like the right I'm time. sleeping, Arthur. I've been in town, looking, watching, and, and waiting. I've, I've tested it as well as I can. It's the right plan. I know. Jim? Look, the bank, Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city, they're police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the... ...that's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. 
If that's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. Can we do it at night? There's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> Come on, Jose, get moving! We ain't got all day! This is it, gentlemen! The last one! Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how... Oh. Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some... Big town, hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. Don't know by the noise. Any problems? The we'll see you in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then ride on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! Well, one more time. Let's ride! Yeah! Watch out! Catch up here. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. Huh. This, this had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. <laughs> I love that Jose 
Should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Bro, why is the Pinkertons always here, my nigga? Let my friend go. But folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily. Your friend? <laughs> why would I do that? Come on, Milton. It's over. No more bargains. No more deals. Mr. Milton, hey. this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chance. How do you always know that what we doing, bro? No, bro, he just killed Jose. Oh my God, bro. Oh, God damn it. Are you? Oh my God. There's your deal. God. Just kill Jose, bro. Bro. I know he's killed Jose like he was one of those, bro. What'd he do to y'all, bro? Nigga? Nigga? Uh, switch to the other guy.
day, bro. I'm out. John, why is John always? Oh, John got arrested, bro. Oh my god! All right, we gotta hit the dash, bro. They better not. No, they killed Lenny, bro. Are you kidding me? Bro, are you kidding me? They killing everybody, bro. They killed Lenny, bro. But actually, a good black character in the game. filled with cops. Well, how long are we going to stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're going to get every last one of us. I know they're going to be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah. Where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. We die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, look at us. Just kill any man.
covered, stay out of sight. Looks like they've stopped. We'll go through the train, Arthur. Come on, rest you. Follow when it's clear. Someone come. Guard to the left. Stay low. Someone's coming. Duck. I don't see why we have to check the train. They just robbed Lemoyne National Bank. It's not like they're gonna take the first line out of town. But old Milton said. Milton said a lot. Come on, I won't be out here all night. Oh, damn it. We're never gonna get past these fellas. Arthur, head over to the water. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. Stay down and keep quiet. We've wasted enough time on these fools. Spencer said. See them? Sure. What you think? I don't know. They're watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah. Let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently. So, when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Oh, I like it. Real brave. What in the hell? Who is... Excuse me! Buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most beautiful Come acts I ever saw. Come on. We got some gold, I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John, Lenny, Jose, that wasn't good. I know. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence. And find out where we're heading. 
How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. Well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our families. At least we got some money now. Money and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> That cloud look like good news to you. <laughs> wake up! Everybody! Wake up! Wake up! Come on, Arthur! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up. I don't know, but we are getting off of this boat. You come on. <laughs> Would you get a move on, you sleepy bastard? Please, Lord, hey, I'll be right behind you. <sighs> Jesus.
It is a miracle. It is a goddamn miracle. Here, have, have something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody Here. give him a goddamn drink. Oh, son. Son, take it easy. Oh, we got you. We got you. So. Where the hell are we? We are on the island of Guam. Javier asked the local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island east of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So, what next? I don't know. <laughs> Well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. Encadenen a estos hombres! Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor. We are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. We were lost at sea. In the storm. Is that so? No. I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos! 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 That means move! You've got a long walk ahead of you. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Levi Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusar. We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? Oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles and other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. How very upsetting for you. Not half as upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. They'll be strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? You seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. You was going to scenic route. Just as soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. In the meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la carsa, junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino. Cualquier tontería que hagan, disparales a todos. Welcome to Guama, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah! What now, Aiden? I don't know. What do you think? I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now, we're stuck, then. Well, for what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. You and me both. Who are these people? Who knows? Well, they got them chained and lashed, but they don't look too dangerous. Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> Criminales. What crime did they commit? Insurrección. <laughs> Insurrection? That's quite a word. Cállate, señor Fuentes. Muévanse. 
Reinforcements. Mon Dieu. You need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, Fevit, everyone, follow me. Vite, Fevit. Come, come, come. Ah. 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 Javier! Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. There's a lot of them. Ah. What do you think? We gotta move, Dutch! Cool. Don't lose space, son! We'll find you! Cooey, cooey! Go, go! What are you doing here? I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we all? Hetul Fontaine. Dutch Vanderland. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So. Who is this Fusar? A tyrant, driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusar, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusar's back. 
Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Aqua Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men killed themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. They're little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. But I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers, and then come meet me at the fort. If you help us get back our friend and get out of here, we will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, they will have him at Fusa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well? Goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I... I'm so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill, do some more scouting. Carefully. <laughs>